हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शेक हैंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल हेयर ऑन दिस चैनल यू कैन वॉच वेराइटी ऑफ वीडियोस एंड बिल्ड अप योर इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल शेक हैंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल एंड देन प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन सो वेन एवर देर इज अ न्यू वीडियो अपलोडेड ऑन दिस चैनल you may get the notifications about the new video upload i am narendra sharma and in this video of iso 9001 2015 quality management system requirements i am going to discuss about the clause number 7.1.5 which talks about the monitoring and measuring resources so let us see what this clause is talking about so here is the clause the clause 7.1.5 is about monitoring and measuring resources and this has two sub clauses 7.1.5.1 general 7.1.5.2 measurement traceability so what these clauses have 7.1.5.1 general so this clause is talking about providing the necessary resources for verifying the conformity of the product and services that is uh, the monitoring and measuring instruments using which an organization can verify the conformity of the products and services which the organization is manufacturing therefore the organization shall ensure that the resources provided resources means the monitoring and measurement equipments provided by the organization these instruments in fact instruments are suited for the specific type of monitoring and measuring activities being under, undertaken a specific type of monitoring and measurement activities being undertaken undertaken these monitoring and measurement instruments must be suited for these activity activities and b says these equipment these instruments are maintained to ensure their continuing fitness for their purpose so what is the purpose the purpose purpose is continuously monitoring and measuring the uh, the the specifications or the conformity of the product and services and verify that these are maintained or not and for that the organization shall retain appropriate documented information as evidence of fitness for the purpose of these monitoring and measurement instruments or resources now clause number 7.1.5.2 is talking about the measurement traceability so traceability is uh, the measurement traceability is a requirement or considered by the organization as a essential part to provide the confidence in the validity of measurement results so when you measure some measure something the results the measurement results are uh, very need to be verified or this these results must be valid results and these results provide the confidence that you are measuring the accurate measurement for certain parts which the organization is manufacture therefore for the measurement traceability it is required that the instruments are calibrated or verified or both at specified intervals or prior to use before using it against measurement standards traceable to some international or national standards when no such standard exist if there is no such international or national standards exist there the basis uh, used for calibration or verification shall be retained as a documented information you need to retain the documented information what you are measuring identified in order to determine their status 
what kind of a status the calibration status or verification status whether the instruments are calibrated or verified this need to be identified and the C says safeguarded from adjustment damage or deterioration deterioration that would invalidate the calibration status and subsequent measurement results these measurement monitoring and measurement devices must be safeguarded from adjustment damage or deterioration so that these instruments should not be invalidated and uh, the organization shall determine if the validity of previous measurement result has been adversely affected so in case of the any instruments invalidated or defective then what would you do for those parts which are measured by this kind of defective instruments what kind of necessary corrective actions you will take so these this 7.1.5 talking about the measurement in general measurement requirements in general and the measurement traceability so now i will elaborate this clause in detail now starting with the clause the clause 7.1.5 replaces first first you need to understand that the clause 7.1.5 replaces the old clause which was mentioned in ISO 9001-2008 as clause number 7.6 control of monitoring and measuring equipment in uh, ISO 9001-2008 now the term equipment has been changed to resources the equipment measuring equipment here you need to use resources and the calibrated equipment the calibrated equipment now termed as instruments and according to this clause the clause 7.1.5 the organization shall determine what specific product and process characteristics need to be monitored and measured first and the criteria of product acceptance how would you accept the product on which criteria you would accept the measurement criteria you would accept the product and what specific product or process characteristics you need to be monitored and measured because according to that the type of monitoring and measurement devices you required the type of monitoring and measurement resources you require or devices you require basis of the specific product or process characteristics need to be monitored and measured and the criteria of product acceptance and one thing more is there frequency of measurement at what stage of product realization to do it such as the sample size etc what what sample size is there and uh, what is the frequency of measurement of the product or services and what are the criteria of product of acceptance uh, depending upon that you need to select the monitoring, monitoring and measurement devices for your organization the word here the term one term is uh, a term is used the word suitable word is used the word suitable means instruments are the suitable with reference to the instruments means instruments are capable of determining good from bad that means which parts on the basis of measurement the instrument can segregate this part is okay acceptable on the basis of measurement and this part is not acceptable on the basis of measurements so the instruments must be capable to differentiate a acceptable part or not acceptable part on the basis of measurement and it should be accurate reliable and precise to make the appropriate measurement the instrument must be accurate do the instrument must does must be uh, uh, must give the accurate reliable and precise measurement results the devices should be maintained to serve the purpose with continuity so these two things are 
the clause number 7.1.5.1 these devices should be maintained to serve the purpose of purpose with continuity uh, what is the purpose the purpose purpose is to monitoring and to monitor and measurement the product and service characteristics and this should be maintained in a continuous way and for that the devices should be maintained in a proper way so that the devices can serve the purpose now the measurement traceability is essential to provide confidence in the validity of measurement results therefore the measuring devices must be verified calibrated at specified interval or prior to use against international or national measurement standards therefore the organization must decide what should be the uh, appropriate intervals after which uh, the organization or the person who is authorized need to be verified or calibrate the the measurement devices now identification of the the calibration status for that a calibration sticker having last calibration and next calibration should be put on the measuring devices so that you can identify that the instrument is calibrated or not calibrated and if it is calibrated then on uh, which date it has calibrated or the next date on which it is going to be calibrated now about the safeguard the measuring devices from adjustment for that remove the adjustment tools for general use all the adjustment tools using which a person any person any unauthorized person can do some uh, adjustment in the measuring devices these adjustment tools should not be uh, placed uh, with the measuring devices uh, and these adjustment tools should be put away from the measuring devices and uh, put seals on the access panels and if there are some access panels on some measuring devices which shows some measurement results uh, put some seals on that access panels so that no authorized uh, unauthorized person can do some adjustment on these measurement devices now safeguarding from damage and deterioration for that use some protective cases to store the measurement devices protective films filters etc to keep instruments in its ready to use or in tip top condition now to uh, avoid the deterioration regular maintenance also help such uh, such as the removal of dust or atomized grease grease should be used for uh, avoiding the deterioration of the measuring devices now when an instrument is found defective there is there is a case if you found that uh, when you uh, doing some measurement and you found that that instrument is defective during its planned verification or calibration or during its use and you found that the instrument is defective then the past measurement which are done by this instrument what would you do with those parts you need to take some corrective action or you need to verify whether the measurements are uh, which have done already are verified or not how would you verify that these and if you are not able to verify then what would you do as a corrective action you need to take some corrective action so you need to isolate of those products or the those parts and if the parts has gone to have gone to the customer and then you need to recall those parts this would be done in uh, if there is a evidence of compliance that these uh, measurements are reliable or verified then there is no need to do uh, 
taking some such kind of uh, uh, corrective action but if there is no evidence of compliance then you need to take these this kind of action uh, for if if these measurement, measurements have done with a defective measurement instrument or device so this was about the clause number 7.1.5 about the monitoring and measurement resources now you need to test your learning by answering or writing the answer in the comment box uh, these questions which you are able to see on your screen the first question is clause number 7.5 in 2015 replaces which clause in ISO 9001-2008. The second question is what is the meaning of word suitable with reference to a measuring instrument. Third question is why the measurement traceability is essential. And the fourth is how do you identify the calibration status of an instrument. The fifth question is how do you safeguard the measuring instruments from adjustment. So you need to answer all these five questions. Do write your answers in comment box and tell me what are the answers you understand by this video. Write down in the comment box. And uh, like this video as you are usually doing. Like this video and share this video among your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe shake hand with life youtube channel and press the bell icon so whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel you may get the notifications about the new video upload see you in my next video of iso 9001 2015 quality management system requirements thank you uh, for stay with me have a nice day